Well, the big news on the net this week is Google's launch of the Chrome browser. And this is a look at the Google's official blog where they admit that they had a little bit of an early launch that was unexpected. As I quote at Google, we have a saying, launch early and iterate. While this approach is usually limited to our engineers, it apparently applies to our mailroom as well. So it went out on the blogosphere and everybody knew early about the new Google comic explaining about Chrome and what it can do for you. Now Wired talked about this some time ago. Uh, it's a very good in-depth article there at wired.com. And I love the backstory about the guy who was brought in to work on the new JavaScript engine. Apparently, he'd been planning to take some time off work after 20 years, but Google called and he had to start a development team up on his farm in Denmark. TechCrunch, as always, is a really good lineup of overviews of how Google Chrome works. And there's also some really funny satire out there with the comic version. And if you go through TechCrunch step by step, it'll tell you all of the main features. I love this site. Geeks are sexy, definitely. And they pose the question, is the end nigh for Firefox? I don't think so. I've been watching Twitter and most people say that right now they can't do without their Firefox extensions themes and personalization. When more apps are developed for Chrome, however, it might be a different thing, but right now Chrome seems to be for power users and super users who want to get their work done quickly. It's another great right lineup here about the comic, and it's broken down into five sections explaining things, covering stability, speed, search, security, and standards. And one more, which they haven't actually mentioned here, huge opportunities for satire. Doesn't matter what their copyright statement says, there's some brilliant comics all over the internet ripping it out of this format. And MIT Lab have got a few quotes from the Google guys. And I love this one from Larry Page at the unveiling. You only have 24 hours a day and we'd like you to do more searches, he said. If the browser runs well, then you will do more searches. And Mashable are glowing. Well, they think they might be, but they're not blown away yet. But they do say that the team that built Chrome was intelligent, mature and forward-thinking. It's a high praise indeed. And finally, on the Google Eula that's been getting people's digital knickers in a twist, as we think Ars Technica agrees, it's just their standard license. They've now updated it. And they couldn't enforce it anyway, because it's open source, people. 